Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Taylor is back, but for how long? Spoiler have yet to indicate if we have this incredible lady home forever, but we say nay. We predict she's just here to reclaim her man and take him back to Europe with her. This doesn't seem too far off considering how Steffi and Thomas are acting. There's an obvious crack in the father's marriage to Brooke, and they are wasting no time pouring waste in their mother's direction. There's a lot of talk of Taylor still holding in the thoughts for Rich, and we are fairly certain he's never fully get, gotten over her. True love dies hard, if it dies at all. Plus, let's face it, Rich's marriage is falling apart and our favorite guy never stays single for very long. We can just see it now. Rich jealousy spirals when he catches Deacon in his and Brooke's home. It's clear to everyone but Brooke that her ex wants her bad, very bad. Heck, Deacon is not hiding it. We won't blame Rich when he goes off the rails and packs a bag or his bags. Rich slams that door shut and heads to his daughter's house. Spoiler hint. If this happens, he'll need a place to stay and wear it better than the clubhouse. It has Daffy, Finn, the kids, and Taylor too, of course. It would take mere hours or days for Rich to go from heartbreak to lost field flooring with his second wife. In fact, Rich wouldn't even get those bags unpacked. Instead, He agrees to drop some divorce papers and run off with Taylor. They hop on the Forrester jet and head to Paris. It's the land of love, and these two are definitely prime for passion. Whether this leap broke in Deacon's arms, we are sure. She's never wanted to sleep in a bed alone for very long. And how we more than happy to take up that space. These things were speculation could really happen. Let us know in the comment section below.